I'm gonna get a COVID test. I have dust in my mouth. Oh my god, I'm so excited, you have no idea. Are we zoomed in? Yep. <laughs> Hello everyone. Good morning. Happy Monday. Basically, today is another weekly vlog, so welcome. It's 9.44. Uh, I just have my tablet and then I'm going to do the beds, dishwasher, and I have to fill the drink fridge. But today, I'm probably not going to film a lot because this morning, or afternoon, at like 1-ish, 1.30-ish, we're going to go to my uncle's. It's very confusing. It's dad's uncle, so it's like my second uncle or whatever, but we just call him uncle. It's fine. So we're going to go see them, my uncle and auntie, because they moved into a new house. What's my hair doing? And we just haven't seen them. I haven't seen them since my birthday, my 21st. And then we're going to go to a shopping center because dad needs to buy like a belt for work. Then we're going to come home. This week, I don't think there's any plans. Hello, 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 hello. I'm trying to film. I don't think there's a lot of plans yet. Um, I just know I'm going to be filming a lot this week. I think we have a house inspection, so I have to clean the house and vacuum and stuff. I want to sort out the pot vinyls a little bit more because I did last week. Well, I, I did it in last week's vlog, but I have to like clean the actual shelves. And then I have to, I think this week and I might be hanging out with the girls on Sunday. I'm not sure yet. That's the plan. It's kind of a chillax week with no birthdays which i'm so kind of happy about because all the birthdays are done for may, april and may basically just have a walk in their dog right past my house oh my god that's the plan i don't really know what's happening it's pretty much like a, oh my god my nose it's pretty much a work week i guess last week it was Corey's birthday and mother's day and dad's birthday the week before was mum and ebony's so it's been really really crazy anyway so that's the plan and the next thing you're gonna see is probably me getting dressed that's the plan let's go do some washing up and things i have to go to the post office too i have some mail so i have to go to the post office yeah. That's my mom. What are you doing? Anyways, I'm gonna go make my bed because socks is on Corey's. But we could say hello to dad. Um, hello, dad. Hello, dad. Hi, dad. <laughs> Love you, dad. Love you more. Okay. I'm gonna go do this and then I'll see you soon. Hello everyone, welcome back. It is 6.02. I haven't updated you at all, but today we went to my uncle's for about an hour and a half and then we went to the shopping center and I got some things we want to show you. And now I'm home and I have to cook dinner in a second, but I want to show you guys what I got. So, I have four books and like mostly earring stuff. <laughs> I'll show you the books first. Oh, I only got three. Okay, I only got three books today. So I got Tweet Cute. I was going to get this last one was in store, but the cover was bent, but this one is perfect. I've heard really good things about this. Basically, these two people are like Twitter romance type of deal. That's going to be interesting to read. And then I found the first and second copy of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder and then A Good Girl Bad Blood. And the third book is coming out in September. I got these to read and then hopefully I can read them by September, but who knows, but Apparently these are really really good. Apparently I heard on TikTok that the sequel was actually better than the first. I'm pretty sure this is the second book. Yeah, so this is the first book, this is the second. So it goes like this. These are all by Holly Jackson. Apparently they're really really good. They're the books I got today. Nothing too dramatic, but but hey, they're books. And again, I bought like four yesterday. Then the rest are basically earring supplies. Also, I want to give a massive shout out to one of the subscribers that works at Big W. She commented on my video, like I think a couple weeks ago, saying that she noticed that the story I was in was her work. And I actually saw her today and she was so lovely so shout out to you girly but i went to zing first of all we got two pot vinyl cases like the really thick ones for corey so that's just that you guys know i'm obsessed with the umbrella academy hello i have key rings and i really want to make these out of earrings this is my favorite character klaus obviously you have to buy two of these so this is klaus i'm gonna make these for myself um because he's my favorite character of all time so these are key rings if no one knows and then to go with that i found this cutie so this is the child with a cup now i don't watch star wars but i want to make these and i think rianne has her ears pierced but i want to make these and i'm going to give these to rihanna uh, if i haven't given these to rihanna by the time i make this it's a 
surprise girl. But I think these are going to be really cute. I think maybe his ears are going to be too big. But he is very popular. So if I do sell these, I don't know if I am. These are going to these are gonna go ape shit. So these are getting $10 each. But I don't know. They're cute. I don't know. But then I went to the W where I saw the subscriber. And I just picked up some more babies. Some running low. And then I found some rubber ducks. Which are much smaller than the ones I have. Which I'm so excited about. So these are the rubber ducks that I just got today. And these ones are the ones I got from a different store. So they're... Okay, there's not a big difference. Actually, no, there kind of is. Yeah, there's definitely a big difference when you compare the bottom. This is from $2, so this is from Big W. So fun. That's going to be fun to do. This is an 18-pack, and the babies are always 12-packs. So that is everything I got today, which is fun. But the rest of the week, I have no plans. I don't think, anyway. If I do, I'm going to tell you guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Whoa, drop my pot vials apparently. I'm going to make dinner and I'm going to not film it because I'm really tired and I have headaches. I'm going to just cook, enjoy myself, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I might film my readathon because I didn't end up doing my readathon last week because I had a migraine. But I might do it tomorrow. I'm not sure. I just really want to read, guys, but I need to edit. Maybe I should do the reading on Wednesday. Yeah, I'll have to film a haul. Also, I went to the post office and they were closed. But I got my card, so I'm gonna go pick up the parcel tomorrow. Just letting you know. But I'm gonna go make some dinner now. I'll see you guys tomorrow, most likely. <laughs> Hello everyone. Good morning. I feel like you're on an angle. It's Tuesday. I just went to the post office as you guys saw. So I have a parcel. I didn't pick it up yesterday, but this is from a brand. So I'm going to give a shout out to them. What are we doing this today? We might watch resting today. And then I have to film. I have to clean. I have to edit. We have to do a lot this week. Like work. Excuse me. I keep burping like work wise. Exciting. But to make me feel less stressed, I'm going to open up a parcel. I can't find bloody emails. Hopefully when I open it, it has information so I can tell you guys. I'm pretty sure they're going to be a discount, which is great. But this is basically an oversized hoodie blanket thing basically an udi which is if you're in australia and you know what an udi is i literally was gonna buy one for myself and my mum then they reached out to me this company i was like hey i'm gonna send you one i'm like okay i've always wanted an udi so i'm gonna see how this one pans out i got a red one this is it so this is the koozie i think that's how you pronounce it so the koozie koozie i think it's koozie so i think there's only six patterns you can choose from i chose the red one but i'll leave my exact one down below i'll leave all the information down below Get a koozie for your family and friends and enjoy your favorite things while keeping warm together. That's cute. I'm really excited because I've wanted one of these forever. This is crazy to look at. It feels nice. Okay, we finally got we finally got to it. Oh, they wrapped it in a bow. That's effing cute. So this is what it looks like. It looks like a pillow. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have no idea. Okay. Oh, so this is it. Okay. All right. I think I might put this on now because why the hell not? This is the hood and this is the inside of the entire blanket thing. And it's currently raining today. It's very cold. We're slowly getting into winter. So this is perfect timing. So thank you. And then there's a massive pocket in the front. This color is cool. I'm going to put it on. This is it. Look how fluffy it looks. I'm going to die. This is so warm. Oh my God. Oh my god, guys, I look cute. Oh my god, I'm gonna wear this everywhere. This is like normal day to day wear. I can wear it everywhere. Look at this. I've made my bed, so ignore everything. But look, this is adorable. I need to go show everyone. I love it. Do you love it? Yeah, can I have it? No. It's mine. Look at me. Fluffy. Fluffy. You're going to see me in this all the time. I look really cute. Just to have some extra cuteness for everyone today. I'm going to make mum put it on. Oh, sorry, mum. Boring you. <sighs> look at her with the Apple Watch, everyone. Oh, my God. She's fancy now, guys. She's stepping it up. Yeah. <laughs> I will. <laughs> look at you. Look at this hot stuff. Oh, God. I can't even feel the bottom of the pocket. This pocket could be a hiding spot, couldn't it? For what, brownies? Yeah, yeah that'll work. Do you like it? Yeah, you really want it back, did you? Well, I do, but... Uh, but you're not getting it. So, clearly, as by Mum's reaction and my reaction, we clearly love this thing. So thank you once again to the koozie for saying this out to me. I think Mum's going to steal it. Probably Dad. And also Corey, even though he won't say it. My whole family loves this, and I love this, and you're going to be seeing me wear this more often than usual. You're going to see me in this for a long time, but I'll leave all their information down below if you guys are interested. I'll leave the actual link to this specific one down below as well. Thank you guys so much for saying that out to me. My battery's going to die, but I'm going to go make the beds, do the dishwasher, and then I'm going to probably watch wrestling. So I might film a little bit of it. I'm not sure because like a pay per view type of thing. So it gets a little bit gory at the end. So that's the update. Hello everyone. I'm just doing the one match because it's a steel cage match in a double ring. So it's gonna be interesting. Collecting gold all over the world. Gold. <laughs> we gotta go under the knife. 
life now due to the attack by Miro. Oh, oh. Derby Allen, I'm coming for you and the TNT title. And in seven days from now, the world <laughs> will find out what happens when the man who doesn't mind dying meets the man who doesn't mind killing him. What is he doing? Oh my god, what is happening? Where'd that come from? Big guys coming in, y'all. Haven't seen more lo-fi in ages. This is a very nice match. Dad's going to get the dryer. <coughs> oh. oh god. Come on, baby. Oh, we took his hair out, guys. He's getting serious. Look at the ring and all the blood stains. Is Sammy okay, though? Shit. Oh my god. Shit. Motherfucker. Do not go anywhere. We're not. Dude, there's so much blood. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. You're like a psycho. I love it. <laughs> You're an idiot. Next Wednesday night. Next Wednesday night. I didn't like the ending, but it was good. We're gonna watch RuPaul, so there's socks and mom. I look mental. Wow. Love that for me. That's way too high. <laughs> Hello everyone. I'm happy Wednesday. I haven't really got there to do it all, but yesterday I had a shower and then I basically just edited and now it's Wednesday and it's currently 10.30. So the plan. We have plans. Today I'm going to film a clothing haul after lunch. I'm going to edit a little bit more before lunch and then put a bit of makeup on and just edit a clothing haul, which needs to go up because it's for a brand. I was going to film a readathon tomorrow but we're gonna go to a shopping center tomorrow and we're gonna pick up two books that just came out for Moi. I'm gonna click and collect them just in case. So I'm gonna get volume four of Heartstopper by Alice Oseman because I finished all the rest and need chapter four because it just came out. And I'm also gonna pick up Billie Eilish's new biography, photo book, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what you wanna call it. And then on Friday, I'm gonna do the readathon, but we have a house inspection. So I'm gonna read after he leaves. He usually comes pretty early, so hopefully. I can read a lot because I was going to read as soon as I get up in the morning. Unless I just start reading in the morning, then when he comes, just stop. I'm probably not going to film a lot on Friday just because I'm going to be filming the bookathon, readathon, whatever. And then Saturday, there's no plans. Probably just going to edit because that's my life. And then Sunday, ooh, exciting. I'm going to meet up with my girlies once again and I'm going to go bowling, which is so much fun. We're going to have some lunch. I might film a carpool karaoke with them for a different video. So you'll probably see that very soon. I just, I just love my girls so much because they're just so like they're just up to film literally every single time I'm with them and it's kind of a thing now where if we go out like in a car together we just do a carpool karaoke it's like our thing but I love my girls very much a so shout out to my gillies that's the plan for this week I'm not really sure what I'm going to be filming but I'm going to be editing last week's weekly vlog it's like 45 minutes long and I'm still only up to Saturday so I need to like I need to get a grip on it because I need to edit this I need to edit my recommendation video the lighting is really bad because my blinds half down I also I have to edit a Instagram tutorial which I have not done. That's the update. So I'm just going to edit and then I'm probably going to update you when I am getting ready to film and then I'll probably update you after I finish filming. And all I'm going to be doing is editing. Like I'm literally not going to do anything else. Sorry about it but this week is a pretty busy work week. I come across these pretty regularly. Sometimes I have good days. Sometimes I have just really busy days. But this is a really busy week, busy day, whatever. So I'm going to get back in editing and I will see you guys soon. It is currently 1.07. I've just done 
done the washing. I'm just putting my phone on charge, so sorry about me bending over. I've just done the washing. I've had some lunch. Now I'm going to put a very small amount of makeup on because I really just want to film this video. I need to edit and I have to vacuum because obviously for the house inspection. So like I'm a little bit stressed because a lot of shit needs to be done. <laughs> I'm going to do a time lapse of me just putting on a very little minimal makeup. Little minimal, that's the saying. And I'm going to watch my boys Gary and Andrew like always. Enjoy the time lapse of me doing absolutely nothing, getting changed and putting earrings in and doing my hair and all that. Let's go. Okay, um, I am now ready to film. It is currently 1.32, so let's see how long this takes me to film. I am filming a clothing haul. It's basically active wear. This is a little brand. Shout out to them, but I have to obviously post about them very quickly because it is a, not sponsored, but they did send it to me, so it is like a brand type of deal. But I'm not getting paid for it, so it's okay. But I'm going to let you guys know when I'm done. But this is my very, very simple look. So I'm going to go film now, and we will basically see see where this takes us. I haven't filmed a haul in forever so I'm really scared. This is what's happening and this is this is what I have to do today. So I'm going to do this and then after this I'm going to transfer the footage and hopefully finish my vlog because I'm almost done. I'm going to have to add like the music and do the intro and stuff and then I can finally start my next video which will probably be this one because again it is a brand. Sorry about the moving <laughs> but I'm going to go film this and I will see you guys very soon. So it is currently 3.22. It took me a while to film but I finished filming. I now need a vacuum but I'm going to edit for a little little bit until 3 30 so about 10 minutes of just editing then i'm going to vacuum the house because it's disgusting so i'm edit i'm 51 minutes in and i have a lot left which is very bad because i feel like my longer vlogs do not do well so i'm going a little crazy most of it's just like a cooking montage so i can cut down pretty easily great i'm gonna stink positive i'm gonna edit until 3 30 then i'm going to vacuum so if i don't update you that's why i'm going to do a montage of me cooking dinner because we we had hello fresh last night again we're having like chicken breast and like a salad today so i really want to montage that because i missed cooking so much like i made it yesterday i made halloumi which was really fun I haven't had halloumi before i'm gonna do a montage of the dinner but i don't know how much i'm gonna film from here onwards because i just need to work and vacuum so i'm gonna go edit and i'm going to vacuum that's the plan so i might see you soon or i might see you for dinner so either way i gotta work hello it's 5 30 les and numbers is playing and dad just left for work and i'm about to start our dinner this is indian chicken steaks with spiced potatoes and a cherry tomato salad so enjoy the cut through you excited mum? Uh. She, she yawned that's a plus enjoy the cut through Hello everyone. What day is it? Thursday. Hello everyone. Dad is over here if you want to pop him. It's just my head. Yep. Just my head. <laughs> just my head. Up my nose. Hello everyone. Happy Thursday. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was going to bed last night and then I literally got into bed and I asked mum what day it was because I don't know what day what days are apparently and realized it was Wednesday and I hadn't finished my video for today because today is Thursday. I stayed up till two in the morning editing today's video for you guys so please appreciate it. So I went to bed at two-ish, got up at like seven to feed the cat. So what I want to do now is I'm going to have two brownies to actually have my meds because I need food and then we're going to go 
to a shopping center that we haven't been to in a while and I'm gonna go pick up my QBD books and just have a look around so if I look dead it's because I am I'm really croaky this morning as well which I'm not a fan of but enjoy the montage it might be bad but at this point it's fine We just got home. Corey's punched me in the arms. I don't really like him right now, but went to the post office. This is all of our cases. So our pot vinyls, like the double packs and like Dobby and stuff. Can you have to say hi to camera? Who's that? Do you want to say hello? Yeah. Have a sniff. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, Corey. Oh, it's food. Get one to the kitchen. Jesus Christ. Ta da! Anyway, so I'm gonna put everything away and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And then I also have a very special package that came in my PO box. I'm so excited. Oh, it's really cold. Yuck. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome. So, I'm going to do a little bit of a haul. And I'm going to need to make the beds and the dishwasher and then probably do the little pot vinyl cases. I think I mentioned multiple times that we went to a Westfield to pick up two books I could and collected. And obviously got some more books while we were there. And I got a parcel in my PO box. And then I got a pot vinyl and Lego bricks, basically. So, we're going to just show you. I hope this angle's really off. So, really randomly, you guys saw this already, but I bought blocks. I was going to get Lego, but they were way too expensive. Then I found these at Target. This is $12 for a thousand pieces. I want to make these into earrings or try to. Because I feel like these would be so cool with like different colored outfits. So I got them. You guys saw this. I went to JB and picked up another One Division pot vinyl. This just came out. I'm pretty sure this is actually Scarlet Witch. Once she like transforms. The only ones I have are Wanda are her in the 50s and the 70s. I don't really have her as like her true form. I obviously had to pick her up. Oh. This costume designer, whoever designed this costume for Elizabeth is literally the best person ever. So this is the pot vinyl of Scarlet Witch. Again, there's a stand, so it's a lot easier than like a normal like stand that goes in their feet because in this scene she's flying, I'm pretty sure. So it is a bobble head with her headpiece and her hair and all the detail. Oh my god. But this is her. She's an icon. We love her. So that's the pot vinyl I got. The rest of the books. Oh, I found a straw. That's nice. So I'll show you guys the ones I couldn't collect. Basically, you already, you already know what it is. I picked up the fourth installment of the Heartstopper series by Alice Oseman. I have all of the others and I I read all the others and <laughs> I'm so excited for this. I really am. It's such a cute little series of Dick and Charlie. I love it so much. So that's the main thing I picked up because it just came out like a couple days ago. And literally this next book came out yesterday. I showed you guys in the vlog already. This was a came up, but I picked this up from QBD. I finally got my hands on Billie Eilish's book. This is basically a picture book. This isn't this isn't really a bio or anything. It just says over here in the little dust jacket thing that Billie Eilish shares an intimate window into her life both on and off the stage in the stunning photo filled book. Each image has been carefully selected and laid out by Billie herself capturing her most personal significant moments. This is stunning. So this is the front cover and then this is the back and it just says thank you for caring. <laughs> but then you take the dust jacket off. I know a lot of people don't like dust jackets but you take it off and it's the full version of the photo. Are you kidding? Kidding me? This is the cutest thing ever. And the back is the full version of the back photo. This is literally iconic. Oh, okay. I'm just going to show you this really quickly. So it is a picture book, obviously, but I think it's just going to show so much of her life. There's just, I love this bitch. <laughs> just going to fill my heart with joy. This is a season opener for Saturday Night Live. Such a special week, she says. So there's captions and then photos. Oh my God, that's so cute. See you effing later. I love that. Like this is her at 15. Dude, I am so excited for this. So this just came out. You can obviously still get it. It literally just came out. I just needed to buy it ASAP. But that's what I got like click and collect wise and then I obviously had to go in there before I went to the cashier to say oh I have this order I'm pretty sure I showed you guys these books already but I'm going to show you again I picked up Beach Read this is two writers one holiday a rom-com all waiting to happen this has been on my wish list 
ever since I saw it on TikTok, of course. So I picked that up and I've heard so much good things about this. You guys saw us in the vlog as well. So this one is, this is where it ends and this is basically about a school shooting, I believe. Told from four different perspectives over the span of 54 harrowing minutes, terror reigns as one student's calculated revenge turns into the ultimate game of survival. This is a real thing, obviously, we know that. Having the understanding of it, it's actually being real life and then reading it is crazy. And I just saw there's like text messages in here too, like when it's happening. And this is going to be such a heart-wrenching novel and I'm so excited to read it. And I feel like this is needed like in every school. This needs to be read in every school. Okay, thank you. And another, I bought one classic to go with my classics. I bought Frankenstein. Isn't this a sick cover? So this is like a rubber cover, kind of like my Pride and Prejudice one. So this is Pride and... This is not Pride and Prejudice. This is Frankenstein. So I always had to pick this up because this is literally an iconic book. That's that. Really quickly, I got them. And I think that's everything I got. And now I'm just going to open up the parcel that I got, which is really, really exciting. So I'm going to put these away for really quickly. This special little parcel. I am so proud and happy that this happened. I think maybe a week ago, I woke up to a message. I was literally eating breakfast, going through Instagram, and I got a message notification. I'm like, okay. And Benefit Cosmetics Australia literally DM me on Instagram. I'm like, what is life? Like, what is life? And they're like to me, hey, Chloe, we'd love your content. We'd love to reach out to you and give you some products. Uh, I think they talked about uh, brow products, which is so fascinating. Full circle. I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> and then they asked my address and I just got it. But this is actually from Benefit. It says Benefit Australia. And I literally want to cry. It's just full circle because the first, I think, I'm pretty sure the first eyebrow product, high-end one for me anyway, was Benefit. And I've been using Benefit for quite a while. And the fact that like they reached out, it's crazy. So we're going to open this together. Oh, I'm so, this is a pink box and I'm so excited. Benefit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It says Benefit Club Pink on the front. So let's open it together because why not? Oh my God. They gave me two products. Oh, I've been wanting this for so long. Oh my God. Okay. I have two brow products. I'm literally going to bore my eyes out. So this is such a full circle moment for me. Oh my God. Okay. So the first thing we have is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is both in the color warm medium brown because I thought that was the best color for me because they made me pick a color. And I kind of guessed it because I used to have like, I used to draw my eyes. Eyes? No, I used to draw my eyebrows really dark back when I was using their products. So I just kind of guessed it. So I got that and then I have the Goof Proof Brow Pencil as well. I cannot deal with this. This, okay. My childhood self is literally screaming. Let me open it. I just want to open it. Oh, their, their packaging is literally insane. So this is the Goof Proof, Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So this is insane. This is the one with the like triangle stripe or whatever you want to call it. It looks like a decent shirt. I think it will be well, fine. But again, I was just kind of like winging it because I haven't used their product. Like since I kind of changed up my eyebrow game. Um, just because I haven't had the time to like go online or anything and just like try and figure out my shade, which is crazy. I've always wanted their brow gel too, so I think I have to go buy their brow gel. Benefit, I swear to God, if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is crazy. Can you come out of the box, please? So this one is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. So this one is the much skinny one, I believe. Yes. So this is very, very skinny. Again, in the same color. And then the end has a goddamn spoolie. I don't know if that one had a spoolie. I think it did. <laughs> I just didn't bother to look at it. So they are the two things that Benefit kindly gifted to me. And I literally want to die. I'm going to go cry now. But that is everything that I got today. And in my PO box parcel, whatever. So I'm going to go make the beds the dishwasher and then I'm going to probably do an overview of the pop vinyls and show you guys what I'm going to do with that and I'm going to go die happy now so thank you benefit oh my god I'm going to cry okay bye hello everyone welcome I should really turn the music off because copyright it is currently 410 and we're going to tackle the pop vinyl covers so if you saw last week's vlog you guys know I redid the entire like shelf I guess if that's what you want to call it but I'll give you a recap pop vinyl I don't know if it looks crazy like that. But as you guys know, I put my pop vinyls on top. I have to rearrange these as well because I want to move my money heist one over here because that's like the most... It it makes sense in my mind. But all of these don't have cases because they don't have like the hard plastic ones. But they will have the thinner plastic ones to cover them just so they don't get dirty or anything. I also have them to put away. So I have to redo these. But the main thing is to cover these. So I have all of them and then I have these two up there. I think I'm going to start with these because Dobby is the biggest. And then I have to take these out. I'm going to make Corey scan them into his uh, Funko app so he knows which ones he actually has. So when he goes out, he knows what he owns. And I'm going to clean the shelves as well. So we're going to go get started, I guess. So that's going to be fun. I'm actually pretty excited. Is that...
that a good angle? Probably not. These are from AussieCollectibles.com if you were wondering. Just letting you know. You want to say hi? Oh. Dad's over there. If you see my ass crack, don't talk about it. Before he's posting a selfie. Oh, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Before he's gaining more confidence, everyone. Corey, stop. I can't post that. Apologize. Oh, my bad. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. We should chase him. What chase? Oh my David. Yeah, it's up the top. What's my first name? I don't know. I'm gonna do these Bob. first. I'm gonna do these two first and then we're gonna tackle the other ones. These are just what they look like. They're just literally plastic and you just fold them. Did I not clean this one? I thought I cleaned this one, but it's already dirty. Now this is just covered in plastic, so it's not gonna get dirty. Number one done. Uh, for hair uses, like the arrows. Yeah, and then go scan products. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> that's probably easier, isn't it, you damn ass bitch? Oh, you can't even see it. Jobby. How's that look now? That is, I, I just feel better having these. So this is just in a plastic case now. I'm going to do a time lapse of everything else, and Corey's going to start scanning his Funkos into the app. And maybe I'll tell you the total price of his whole collection. <laughs> it comes up with a total price, who knows? But time lapse, let's go. Hello everyone, it is 6.30 and Dad decided to cook dinner today because I just finished Corey's pot vinyls, which I'll show you in a second, but I think my nose is busted up from all this dust. I'm excited. Thanks, Dad. But they're gone. I'm just waiting for the dishes to dry. I thought I'd show you what I've done. What is on my nose? <laughs> I'm disgusted. Anyways, this is an overview. This is the little corner, so there's obviously a glare now because I have all the covers on them, which is so exciting. And then this is the collection. Obviously, there's the pop on the floor. I had to put them behind my collection because they're like spares that I couldn't sell in my first lot I had. What is that? Can you see that? Hello? <laughs> um, I have to do the di It's okay. Someone's here with me. Hello, whoever it is. I'm going to go sort my stuff out after I do the dishes and I'm going to start editing. Your girl is far behind. So that's the update of this. I'm very proud of it. Anyways, that's the update. I forgot to show you before, but it is currently 7.13 and this is a bop. Friday. It's currently 9.30 and I'm ready to get a COVID test. <laughs> so I'm so excited for that. I have symptoms. I think it's just the flu. So I just wanted to double check. Never had one before. So it's going to be great fun. I'm literally in my little blanket because I don't think I have to leave the car. However, I don't give a shit if I have to because I'm freezing and this is warm. So I'm wearing it. Anyways, that's the update. So I don't think Sunday's going to happen. That's a doggy. Oh. The next couple of days of this vlog are going to be boring as all shit because either way, if it's just a flu, I have to recover from the flu and I hate the flu. So that's great. Happy Friday. We're going to end the week off. Mm, not really end the week, but you know, with a COVID test. Isn't that fun that's the update love that for us like i have to sneeze now which is <coughs> not fun but i did it turn right John oh, that Street. was rude that was the quickest little thing i've ever done in my life my nose is really sore now all done Check that off my bucket list that I've always wanted to do. So now I'm gonna just wait for results. So I have to isolate, keep my fluids up. And it's funny because the person that did my test is literally my normal GP. I'm kind of hungry. I really need to eat something. That's dad. That's me. Hello everyone, good morning. I sound absolutely terrible, but happy Saturday. I didn't really update you guys yesterday besides me getting a COVID test. So all I've been doing is editing because I just want to get my editing done. I just got my results back, they are negative, so I don't have COVID, it's just a really bad case of the flu. I got a message this morning, literally like 10 minutes ago, saying um, coronavirus was not detected. So this is this, um, I'm so excited. But on the other hand, I think my 
screen's dirty. Why is there so many orbs? I don't know what's happening. I am, I'm so grateful it's not COVID. I really am. But on the other hand, I hate the flu. Everyone in my family, when we get the flu, it's very, very hard hitting, I guess. Like, it's a very bad case of the flu. So I am not feeling the best right now. I'm going to make a cup of tea. So I'm probably going to do a little montage of that. But the only thing I'm going to be doing today and tomorrow is editing. Tomorrow is Sunday. I was meant to go out with the girls. But I cancelled. Even though I knew it wasn't going to be COVID, I just don't want to get them sick either and have them time off work and everything. And Brianna's getting her wisdom teeth out in like two weeks. I don't want her getting sick before that and everything like that. So um, we're going to postpone a little bowling session, which I'm a little bit upset about. I just feel bad about it. But they said it was okay. And they had us feel bad because I was really excited for this little day. But they are going to face... I think we're going to Zoom call on Sunday anyway, like in replace of going out. Because I think I've mentioned this, maybe not. I keep doing this. Why do I keep doing this? Me and the girls, I think Ebony may maybe mentioned it. We're going to probably do like a little girls trip for our friendship anniversary. But we're planning on like renting an um, Airbnb and everything. Just for like a weekend. Just to celebrate our friendship, you know. But I think we're going to just mainly, because we're going to plan it when we were talk, like out playing bowling and stuff we're going to talk about it because we're not doing that I think Rihanna just was like you want to do a zoom call instead and we're like okay cool which I have to re-download because I deleted it <laughs> but that's the plan so I'm not going to update you a lot this vlog is not going to be interesting I didn't expect myself to be sick I thought this week was going to be fun just like filming working and then having a break with my girlies but that's not always the case obviously life throws you a curveball so fun times but I'm going to go make a cup of tea and I'm just going to sit here and edit. I'm editing my clothing haul video that you saw on Monday. I'm currently 13 minutes in and there is 45 minutes. So there's a lot to go through but I'm going to edit this and then I will update you. But I'm going to make a cup of tea and then after that I know I'm going to talk to you guys but very croaky. So I'm going to go have some tablets and I'm just happy that I don't have COVID. So happy Saturday. COVID free. <laughs> I look like absolute shit. <laughs> it's 2.28 and I look like shit, but we're gonna have to deal with it. Mum's putting chips in, so ignore the noise. I'm gonna sort out Corey's bookshelf right. while he plays his game. So you get a time lapse of that. But I'll show you before and after, I think. Corey's here eating a finger bun. Here's Corey. This is Corey's room, everyone. I just tripped over his blanket. <laughs> so Corey has the same bookshelf that I do, and he has a lot of shut. I have to sort it out. I recently did this, and now I have to do it again anyway, at the point. This is what it looks like. So we have all of this, and then the main reason why I'm doing it, I have to put all of those in. He bought loom bands, don't ask. The plan is I'm going to take all of these DVDs and put these in the lounge room, and then these are all of his Robin ones, and then the rest are books. So I have to sort them all out. I'm out of breath. I'm sorry, I can't really breathe. So what I'm going to do is I might put you maybe over there. No, I might put you on the bed and do a time lapse, but this is the before. I don't really know what the plan is. I'm just kind of winging it. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, and put some tunes on and do a time lapse and then we'll clean this up. Let's go. <laughs> I have dust in my mouth. It's 3.25. I just finished his bookshelf. People won't think this is clean, but this is clean for the amount of shit Corey has. Top hasn't changed. This is biographies. I might just get up and show you. That would be smart. So this is all bios, and then this is his Walking Dead comics. And I have, like, little knickknacks. And then this is Robin's shelf. Nothing's really changed here. I just moved the books to the end instead of up the front because they're taller. So Corey does the same thing that I do with Heath. He collects all of the movies from his favourite actor, which is obviously Robin and mine's Heath. I have his little, little thing and then this little buddy 
down here and then this shelf is more of his like collections so at the end with the candle we had Game of Thrones then we had The Witcher, Harry Potter and then a random book because there was a gap moving down these are more random ones at the end we have the Stephen King 80s version covers they're sick in the middle we have more random books and then these are the Arne Doe books I don't know why but he wants to collect them and my aim was to have a free shelf but he's just got so much like bulky things I need to have two shelves but this shelf there's more books back there but they're like picture books and like these are the game guides that he wanted to keep and there's some comics there there's some spare things that is like apple watch container and all that this needs to go in the garage one day but i don't know when and then behind that now the box has to go in the garage and then that's just a stan lee thing in his ds that's the after of his bookshelf i think i did a pretty decent job i don't know if you can see but out there there's all his dvds i need to go in the lounge room i'm gonna take a break because i need to keep blowing my nose because there's so much dust in it but for right now i'm gonna take a break and then i'm probably gonna end up doing the laundry laundry what probably gonna be doing the lounge room all i have to do is the outro for the clothing haul then I have to start this vlog hopefully I can get that up my eye is so itchy but I have to finish that video today because it goes up on Monday I want to start my vlog tomorrow and edit it because that needs to go up Thursday I think I'll be okay I need to edit all them videos as well but whatever that's the update of Corey's bookshelf but that's the plan I don't know I'm gonna go do something then I'll keep you updated Hello everyone, I forgot to end the vlog, this is me ending the vlog. Welcome back, um, excuse the lighting, I'm so sorry. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it wasn't very entertaining at the end because obviously I'm, I'm still recovering from being sick, there's something in my eye. So I'm sorry that it hasn't been that entertaining considering like from getting a COVID test onwards. <laughs> it hasn't been really entertaining but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video. All I did last night was I had a shower which you guys saw and then I had a Zoom call with my girlies, so Ebony, Lexi and Rhiannon and we basically planned our girls trip and we actually booked it and it's going to be July 16th to July 18th so she's like a weekend away so I'm going to be filming a lot of that don't worry and I'm probably going to film little bits and pieces in my weekly vlog of us planning it because I thought that would be kind of fun this is our first girls trip together as a group but it's also my first trip with friends I haven't had like a trip with friends before minus like school camps and stuff I haven't had like a dedicated trip with friends but yeah we just haven't done that so I think it's gonna be really good we're basically doing this I think I mentioned it last week doing it to celebrate our friendship anniversary Ooh, which is in July but it's like a couple weeks beforehand but we were busy or I think Lexi was busy we just pushed it back a couple weeks but we're still celebrating it and yeah I'm really really excited so that's all I did last night and now I'm starting a new vlog so get excited that's pretty much the update everyone that I haven't updated you guys on anyways either way I hope you guys enjoyed this video even though it was a bit of a meh video because I was sick still am but I am still gonna finish the video for you guys but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give a thumbs up for me if you're new here please subscribe make two videos a week because every Monday and Thursday and every Thursday is a new weekly vlog so subscribe if you want to <laughs> all my social media links everything I mentioned into the video below the like always remember to spread love and stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone mm -hmm.